Busy, busy morning, folks. A Fox News alert out of Iowa. Uh, the final count from the caucuses is in, and I just want to remind you, Rick Perry is going to be at the top of the hour, 11 o'clock, for that news conference. So stick around for that. Now back to the other lead story that's going on in Iowa. So it turns out, in the end, that Mitt Romney did not win Iowa by eight votes. After an official count just being announced this morning, Rick Santorum actually got 34 more votes than Romney. But the caucuses, we're being told, are officially being called a tie because the results from eight precincts are actually missing. No one knows what happened to those and will never, we're being told, be certified. OK, so the man in charge of certifying those results is Matt Strawn, chairman of the Iowa Republican Party. And he joins us live. Uh, Mr. Strawn, welcome. Good morning. Good to have you here today. Hey, good morning, Martha. And if there was any question about the relevant relevancy of Iowa, uh, I think with Governor Perry's announcement, uh, the first four finishers uh, in the Iowa caucuses are the only four remaining candidates. So, uh, so I think the impact and influence of Iowa still continues uh, throughout the presidential race. Well, we, uh, understandable uh, that you would want to make that point this morning, especially given the yeah. fact that uh, so much has been sort of thrown in flux. I mean, we waited till three o'clock in the morning right. and then we're told that uh, Romney won by eight votes. And now we're being told that Santorum, right. that Santorum actually won by 34 votes. How do you square that? Why wouldn't you call this a win then for, for Rick Santorum? All right. Well, here's the process that we went through. Uh, we have a two week certification process where we counted on our volunteer precinct leaders in 1,774 precincts to provide the official record uh, from each of the votes that happened on the night of January 3rd. And as of yesterday's 5 o'clock deadline, uh, we had 1,766 uh, of those official documents that we were able to certify from those precincts. And as a result, uh, we wanted to make sure that the reported certified totals most accurately, accurately reflected how Iowans voted on caucus night and we're able to count up the certified precincts. Rick Santorum has a 34 vote lead. So there's no question among those precincts we're able to certify. Rick Santorum received more votes on caucus night. Uh, for those eight volunteer led precincts that weren't able to get forms in, uh, I can't speak to why they weren't responding to the calls of our staff. In fact, yeah, we had staff you know, that we put out on the road in, sorry, uh, to track I these apologize, forms down but because it, you know, from my you can understand. the most important thing Hold on. You was can, you getting can understand. accurate results and making me, sure Tom? that every Iowan had an opportunity to have their vote reflected in the final certified results. Okay. I, I hope you're hearing me okay uh, and that we don't have any kind of problem with that. But I, I just want to ask you something. The Rick Santorum folks, as you sure. would understand, are, are upset <laughs> at being told that it's a tie <laughs> when they have 34 votes ahead. You know, those precincts that you can't count, those eight precincts, and we'll talk about those in a moment, they weren't in the picture sure. either when the win was called on election night for Mitt Romney. So the Santorum folks, because as you know, the Romney folks have said this is a historic win for a non-incumbent Republican to sweep Iowa and New Hampshire. So this would take away those boasting rights. It's a big deal uh, if you've been a Rick Santorum supporter all along. So what would you what do you say to them? Well, you know, I looked at our job was making sure that we were able to certify as many precincts as possible and provide accurate information. Now, we'll let the pundits and the campaign officials, you know, spin the results however they want. The one thing you can't take away from Rick Santorum, well, there's a couple things. One, you can't take away that he received more certified votes than any other candidate on caucus night. But also, you can't discount the tremendous boost that Rick Santorum got out of Iowa uh, coming out of caucus night. Uh, the fact that we had Michelle Bachman drop out, the fact that today Rick Perry has left the race, all that started for Rick Santorum here in Iowa on caucus night. So, you know, irrespective of how the various campaigns may be spinning, yeah, but uh, spinning, I mean, you can talk process. about spinning, but, you, uh, you know, it, they would say that you spun it towards Romney by saying that he won by eight votes, if indeed it was too early to say that. You know, I, I don't mean to split hairs here, and I, I yeah. agree with you that everybody would look right. at this situation and say, gosh, I don't know, it looks like a toss-up. But they might have said the same thing on election night when it was an eight-vote difference. In that right. case, the win was well, called for Romney. Sure. In this case, it's being called a tie. So if, you know, if you were in that position, can't you understand how they would feel that they're being slighted by Iowa? Well, I can tell you what we did on caucus night. If uh, you recall, in the wee hours of January 4th, when we reported the unofficial results, we explained that there was a certification process right. uh, that all these precincts would go through. So it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone uh, that that process was going on over the last two weeks. And in fact, uh, in any race that is decided by hundreds of percentage points, uh, there's always room for human error. And as it turned out, we had one precinct, or actually two precincts in one county in Northeast Iowa, where there was, at our volunteer call center, you know, there was an overvote for Romney. A 54 was entered where it should have been a four. Right, a 44 we, was yeah. entered where it should have been a four for Governor Romney. And, you know, that 
is why we have the we, certification process. We did outline and, those situations um, and, and it's, you know, it's an open process and if the there's any campaign officials, actually I think yeah. right now gotcha. both campaigns have officials at our party headquarters going through each of these forms. Uh, so it's as open and transparent process is probably exists in any Let election, this, especially Strawn. one that's run I have by a volunteers for you. all across the state. Mr. Strawn, uh, the eight precincts yes. that are missing, now these are handwritten ballots. Right. Where, where on earth, how do you lose a, eight precincts full of votes? What happened to them? Well, those are questions for the volunteer chairs in those particular precincts. Uh, the way the process works is each of our 1,774 precincts receive what is called a Form E certification form, which is actually the official record of the vote total in that precinct. And that document is signed by the precinct chair and it is signed by the precinct secretary. And then it is delivered to the county chairman who then bundles up all the precincts from within their county and gets that to Republican headquarters so we can certify the verified forms. And depending on which county we're talking about, sometimes the county chair never heard from the precinct chair. Uh, in one county we have a precinct chair that submitted a blank form that had nothing on it. Uh, there was no record to certify. Um, and, you know, it's a great process. It's a grassroots process that is run by volunteers. Um, and unfortunately, we did everything we could in our power to try and get those volunteer precinct leaders to submit their forms on time. Uh, but, you know, they just weren't able to. All right. Mr. Strong, thank you. Uh, it, it's a, quite thank a situation, you. and it was a cliffhanger of an evening. Uh, and that will lead to a lot of emotions on both sides uh, of this. And a lot of uh, folks will be talking about it for some time. And we thank you for being here. Matt Strong. Uh, GOP Thank you. chair in Iowa. Said, tell him for uh, Santorum folks, I should say, he did say it. They're already coming out with a statement. This latest defeat of Governor Romney in Iowa is just the beginning. Rick Santorum is committed to continuing the fight as the clear, consistent, conservative voice in this race. Expect to hear more of that from Santorum yeah. throughout the day in South Carolina and again tomorrow.